What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Y'all have a ABS light come on in your 9906, I believe. Should be 9906 uh, Silverado. Could be with the 7 and 13s. This, the, this issue kind of could be the same, but um, in my case, ABS light came on. Uh, got another truck, kind of checked things around to see if I could find anything. And lo and behold, I found the ABS wheel sensor was damaged. So <clears throat> I went ahead and replaced that. It was about 30 bucks from AutoZone. So I'll go ahead and post pictures here shortly in a quick video of kind of us, me and my brother installing it. Um, it took us roughly about two hours by the time we gathered all the tools and got everything buttoned up. So uh, so yeah, guys, if you guys are having an ABS light, come on, definitely check these sensors on the driver's side or the passenger side of the front wheels. Uh, so yeah, here it is. Oh shit, where are you? you got a wasp? Where? A wasp, a wasp nest. Oh yeah, I seen it right there in the front of the motor, right? Yeah. That motherfucker. All right, now to clear the code, once you once you swap the sensor out and you get everything put back together, uh, in my case, well, it was actually my brother who noticed. Uh, he backed up the truck from the driveway and put it back in. And when it when he put it back in, he he told me he said, "Hey, that ABS light is gone, so you might just have to drive around with it for a couple minutes around the block or something." And it should, if that is your issue. Um, that ABS light will will remove itself. You don't gotta go and clear the code or anything like that. At least in my case. But again, just make sure that um, this is the issue you're having with your ABS. Because if this ain't the issue, you could have two send. You could have two cables go bad. And if you swap one, then obviously you know you're gonna have to swap out the other one before that ABS light clears up. So yeah, just a just a heads up on that. Later, guys.